So recently on Kung Fu Maintenance, been exploring different air conditioners. Do they require a single pole contactor or can they use a dual pole contactor? Today we're looking at an Amana air conditioner. That's next. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Okay, so today we're looking at an Amana air conditioner. It's an old wiring diagram, a little bit tired here, but it should be enough to show and to look at as to whether this can use a single pole or can it use a dual pole. It's got a single pole contactor on there now, and what we want to know is can we use a dual pole contactor. Uh, some units have a crankcase heater that uses a constant power source and a lot of times that's why one side of the contactor will have you know constant a, a shunt and this one uh, looking at the wiring diagram uh, I'll try to pause this where we get a good view at where the contactor comes in but you've got L1 and L2 on the bottom and as we've seen with a few other brands of air conditioners it's got an optional crankcase heater and it actually comes off of the bottom of the contactor uh, which means that it, it doesn't really matter whether we use a single pole or a dual pole contactor most times it's better if you're not sure to always replace like parts for like parts but uh, you know if you can research it and and look at your particular wiring diagram uh, each air condition is different even among the same brand sometimes is is different so you've got to look carefully at what you're looking at for the wiring diagram but it's nice if you can use either contactor a single pole or a dual pole and uh, it's also um, well there actually may be some advantages to each type of contactor and I'm going to go into that in an upcoming video uh, Lord willing covering the uh, comparison or the pros and cons of single pole versus dual pole contactor should be coming soon but it looks like on this Amana we can go uh, with either a single pole or a dual pole contactor a quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs